All right. So if you guys have been with me from like the beginning, you will know the last time I did my oil change, it went a little something like this. Holy shit, it's gonna overfill, dude. Shit. Fuck. Oh my God. Can you go inside? Next time I do this, I'm gonna do it the proper way and buy an oil pen. <laughs> Damn, does it even fit? The reason for that being is because I did not have the proper tools and one main tool. The drain pan. But you know what guys? That's fine because this time is different. I have all the things I need in order and blah blah blah. Because an oil change is really really simple and the first time I just complicated it. So yeah. And I'm changing the oil on both of my cars today. The daily is out there. I'm changing it on that one and the G, of course. So let's get to it. As you can see, I brought back the old torn up mechanic sweater. If you watch my old videos, you know what I'm talking about. First things first. For the oil plug, you will need a 15 millimeter socket or wrench, whichever you prefer. Someone has a dirty ass vagina. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, well that's draining. Let me get cleaned up a bit. This is really good if you need to remove any like oil off your hands or dirt if you're working on your car. This is really great. It's like lotion to get rid of the dirtiness. It's weird because it feels like grainy. Like it's kind of like a sand texture, but it works. See how much is still draining. It's only a little bit left. Practically all done. It had like no oil. Like it did, but it didn't. Jeez. I'm slacking on my oil change, guys. This was super late. And yes, I'm on the floor. And now I'll be removing the oil filter, but you don't want to move your oil drain pan just yet because the oil filter tends to have some oil in the filter, of course, so yeah, don't remove it. Depending on which oil filter you have, if you have a K&N oil filter, it's a wrench off, so you don't have to do it by hand. You remove it with a 25 millimeter socket or wrench, whichever you prefer, and then you wrench on the new one if you chose. But this time I went different and got the fram, the twist on. I don't know why, that's just me. Do whatever you like, do whatever you please. But yeah, point is, the k and is a 25 millimeter socket or wrench to remove. Or a lot. <laughs> All right guys, now that that's done draining, what you wanna do is go ahead and grab your oil plug and put it back where it belongs. Tighten it after you have already hand tightened it. Not too tight guys, because you don't want it to be hard work to take it off afterwards. You need to do your next oil change. And once that's done, onto the oil filter. 
All right, so what you want to do now is grab your oil filter, whatever type it may be. See the bearings? You should grab some of the new oil, just a little bit, not too much. Put it around. Once that's done, you're all good to go. Here comes the easiest part. <gasps> Wood fucking lock. Damn doors. Which one is it? Oh, it's right here. But what I like to do is I like to reset this to zero. And I know and the next like three to five thousand miles or whatever, anywhere in between, is my next oil change and you're good to go. Now that I'm done with the G, on to the Civic. As you can see, I am on the Honda now, doing the oil change on the daily. And you literally do the exact same thing. Take off the oil plug, let it drain. Take off the oil filter, let it drain. Put the plug back in. Get the new oil filter and some of the new oil into the oil filter. Screw the oil filter back on. Put in your new oil and that's it. It's that simple. Drain, baby, drain. All right, so everything's drained just like before. Put it into the bearings of your oil filter. This one, you don't need to tighten it a lot. Just hand tighten it. You don't need one of those um, clamps. All right, now, Final. I'm so ready to get this crap over with. And the reason I'm not using the big gallon one, the five quarts one, is because this is a freaking little Honda. It is a four cylinder, 1.6 liter. So it does not take five quarts. It takes like three and three quarters. So I just bought four of these one quart ones, high mileage, because obviously it has high mileage. And yeah. And that right there is a hassle free, no complications oil change. That's how it should have been done the first time. <sighs> oil change done on the daily. Oil change done on my baby. Now I'm gonna just chill.
as always guys thank you so much for watching like comment share and subscribe do all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next video